Okay, so now let's, now let's look at 2B part 1 from the 2014 uh, National 5 physics paper. It says the circuit is now connected to a switching circuit to operate a heater. Now the circuit in question is this part of the circuit here, um, the original circuit that was in the first part of the question, the potential divider. And so it says that potential divider circuit is connected to a switching circuit. So the switching circuit is effectively um, the key part is this part here, which is not so familiar. This is the circuit symbol for a MOSFET. And a MOSFET, remember, is just a transistor, which is a different switching on voltage to a, a standard NPN transistor, the more common one uh, that we use in National 5. So the question states, explain how the circuit operates to switch on the heater when the temperature falls below a certain value. It's worth three marks, and so effectively what we're looking for are three statements. So let me just um, clear the um, circles that I've done. The first statement that we want to state is relating to the question itself. It says when the temperature falls. So we need to have something about when the temperature falls, what happens. So the only thing that is affected by temperature in this circuit is the thermistor itself. And we know the relationship at turd, temperature up, resistance down. So if the temperature goes down, the resistance of the thermistor must go up. So we must state for our first statement, and I'm going to do this in shorthand really, you can see the marking instructions uh, if you wish um, on my website, but the temperature goes down, the resistance goes up. But you must be very clear about what resistance you're talking about because R relates to the resistance of the variable resistor. So we're really talking about the resistance of the thermistor. So you can either write it as RT, or you can be explicit and state that it's the resistance of the thermistor that rises. So that's the first statement for one mark. So then the second statement relates to, well, if that thermistor rises, sorry, if its uh, resistance rises, what effect does that have on the rest of the circuit? Well, the key part is, this is a MOSFET. The MOSFET requires a voltage um, of about 2 volts to switch on. And so as that thermistor uh, rises in resistance, the voltage share that it will have also rises, and eventually it will rise above the 2 volt threshold required to switch on our MOSFET. And so the second statement really relates to the MOSFET um, turning on. Um, so we could say MOSFET um, turns on um, when 2 volts across it. Okay, so that's the uh, second thing. And then lastly, um, if that sw MOSFET switches on, then that will allow current to flow through the relay coil, and the relay coil will um, become magnetic, it will close the relay switch, and that will cause the heater um, to switch on. So our last statement really needs to be that relay uh, switches. Oops, can't spell tonight. Um, it's W I T C H. <laughs> on heater. Okay, so just to summarize then. The temperature goes down, the resistance of the thermistor will go up one mark. That turns on the MOSFET um, because the voltage across the thermistor has now risen. And that allows current to flow through the relay coil, which means that the relay switches on the heater. So one mark, two marks, the third mark.